Something else we can do with logarithms is something called change of base. Now, um, I'll just give you the sort of the formula for it, and then we'll talk a little bit about what you can do with it. It's actually very, very short. It's a nice little sort of neat short trick. So this video should be very quick. Um, we say this, we say log base B of A. So this is the base of B here. So log base B of A is the same thing as log of, now we can change any base you want. So let's say we call it base C. It's of A over log base C of B. You might think, oh, this looks really, really stupid. Um, actually, wait a second. I should make sure it's the proper, uh, it's a lowercase b, if I used it like that. So you might think, well, why in the world would I use this? I mean, this is, this is the change of base formula right here. So why would you use this? This is useful when uh, the base given is ugly because then you can always just convert it. So if you're given an ugly base, so something you don't like to look at, so let's say you're given, I don't know, base, log base seven of five, let's just say. Log base seven of five. Well, you can make that log base anything you want here. So let's make it log base 10. In other words, let's just make it regular logs because this is hard to calculate on your calculator. But log base 10 is easy. And the rule says, take log base whatever you want. So in this case, let's say I choose log base 10. So this takes log base 10 of A. So in this case, here would be 5. That would be my A value. Over log base 10 of 7. In other words, on my calculator, I can just press log 5 over log 7 and be done with it. That's it. Rather than have to work about really complicated stuff. So the change of base can be useful. So here's another example, just the same sort of thing. Calculate log base 2 of 7. I mean, one way could be to just, um, let's say you could just, could uh, you could rewrite it. So you could do it without change of base. I mean, I'm just going to show you. So without change of base, you could actually do this. So if we do that without change of base, let's see now. We would have to do, maybe I'll do it in green just in case. So I would just rewrite this as some sort of exponential equation. So I'd say instead of saying log base 2 of 7, I'd say it equals x, and then I would just try to find x. In this case, then I could rewrite it as an exponent. So this to the power of this equals this. So 2 to the power of x equals 7. Okay, then how would I solve that? Well, then I would solve this by using our little tricks. I could take uh, the log of both sides, let's say. So then I would take um, log of 2 to the power of x equals log of 7. And then I would say I would take uh, x in front, so x log 2 equals log 7. And therefore, x would be the log of 7 over the log of 2. I mean, that is one way to do it. You can do that on your calculator then. Maybe we get it to two decimal places again. So we could say log 7, divide that by log 2. So it's a little bit long to do, but we get 2.81 approximately. So we'd say x equals approximately 2.81. That is one way to do it. But I think it's faster. So I'll say or, it's faster to use change of base. I think. So the trick with change of base is just recognizing, okay, I have an ugly base. And what do I do if I have an ugly base? I can do log of this thing divided by log of the ugly base. So in this case right here, I could say, therefore, it's equal to, in this case right here, it's going to be log base 2 of 7. It's going to be the same thing as saying log of 7 over log of 2. Guess what? In one step, I got to the final step of what I had to do here. So the change of base, boom, you do that, and of course on your calculator you get the same number because of course you're calculating the same thing. But I think this is really nice. So the change of base rule tells you that if you have an ugly base, well at least it doesn't tell you that, but that's how I use it. If you have an ugly base, so something that's not 10, and you have, let's say you want to do log of, yeah, let's say 7 of 5. That's the same thing as saying log base 10 of 5 over log base 10 of 7. Because of that, you just do log 5 over log 7. Because base 10 is what your calculator can deal with. 
So this is easy to do on your calculator. Just like this right here, uh, whoops, this one right here, that was the easiest thing, I think. So that was fastest. So change of base can actually be useful.